Hi there, this is Scrappin' Like a Lady, and I want to show you these canvases that I've been working on. Um, I am actually videotaping from my Galaxy Note 2. Um, it seems like it's really easy to upload your videos on YouTube from your Galaxy. So let's get right into it. I'm going to give this a good try. And I apologize in advance because I know that the products that I'm going to show has plastic over them and it's going to create a little glare so um, just bear with me I'll figure this out sooner or later so this one right here um, again this is a canvas I painted it blue and then I put a tool underneath it and it's really glitzy it's a gold tool with um, gold flakes in it so um, the camera's not really picking up the uh, brilliancy of the tool but it is gorgeous on here um, I put some Tim Holtz grunge board here and this is a metal um, embellishment there and again it's for my pastor so blessed just does not even describe um, the person that I'm giving it to this right here um, is a metal butterfly with a tassel and this is a gorgeous um, kind of iridescent type of ribbon the bling bling that is on this butterfly look at that it's just gorgeous butterflies I love butterflies along with zebra print but um, and then I put a kind of muted butterfly down here to balance it and this is nothing more than a paper bag here I tore the paper bag I put some uh, close to my heart um, ink going across well around the border of it and um, it worked out perfect really really I, I love that you know it's like something old something new so uh oh I don't know if that turned off or not nope I guess it didn't um anyways the um, fabric here I had this fabric in my fabric stash and um, it's Belted. It's really gorgeous. These this stream of tassels that I have here is what was left over from my um, window treatments in my master bedroom. So I threw those on there, and then I put this ribbon on the bottom with these little flowers and things like that. If you have not worked, and there's some grunge board right there too, and I kind of painted over it too um, for a good blend in. But if you have not worked on canvases. It is so much fun. I had a blast doing this. And you can be as creative, at, creative as you want because you don't have to worry about your embellishments being too big to close your scrapbook. You don't have to give any thought to it. All you have to do is be creative and just throw it all on there. So this is one of the first ones I created. I'm going to show you another one. Um, I also have a small haul to show you. Where up? This is the one that I created for my husband and I um, for our 20th. We have been married for 20 years and I just wanted to um, create a black and white. I'm going to do a black and white album. And so it was very fitting to do a canvas. And so let's get into it. This is just some ribbon that I threw on here. And this is a edge um, cut, a edge punch um, die that I used um, no an edge punch that I used not a die um, going across the, the back of the ribbon there so this is right here is that uh, Teresa Collins um, chipboard and some very very it's like organza uh, flowers there uh, look at the stamens they're all like pearly and beautiful and then I put some bling bling you know you got to have your bling bling so I put some bling bling on it um, and I don't know if I'm going to put a you know monogram in there or Mr. and Mrs. or I haven't decided so I just left it um, again some more ribbons some black rick racks some more organza um, type flowers down there and some um, hi honey feathers and um, this is the um, die cut paper I put there and I don't know the proper name for these but um, I have tons of them I saw it in another scrapbooking video on YouTube and they put the um, 
eBay um, name there and I just ordered tons and tons of it so um, I really enjoyed making this one as well um, and I did not paint this one because it it was white and so that's what I needed it to be for those so those are a couple of my things that I'm working on. I've also been doing things in my scrapbooking room. I changed it around and I put a desk over there because I needed I needed an area that I could just write and do the things that I needed to do. Um, so I put that desk over there. The desk on the other side of the room was for my mailing center. But... Um, and my chase that I made. You guys know that. But this desk over here is for... Um, just for mailing things out and stuff like that. That box right there is going to Kimberly. And Willie bought me the um, Big Shot Pro. So he's so sweet. A while back, actually. Um, but you know I haven't made any videos. I've been naughty. So um, let me show you my quick haul. This is the Martha Stewart Embossing Powders. I love anything Martha Stewart because the quality is there. Um, this circle cutter right here, this was uh, $2.99, sorry, for the embossing powder. And this was $3.99 for this circle cutter. And I already have a circle cutter, but for $3.99, you know, you, you gotta get it. So, for Kimberly, that's what I told myself. So, I might give her my, I have a Stampin' Up! one, and I like it too. So, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that or give it to Kimberly. It doesn't matter really, I guess. Um, this is the Snowflake Punch. It was $3.99, and that was at TJ Maxx. And this stuff came from Ross and TJ Maxx. They had the Inca Dinka Dews. This is the Inca Dinka Cling um, stamps, and these were all $1.49. So I got this one right here. I know for a fact I already have this one, so I will definitely be sending this to my baby. And then this one right here. Sorry about that glare. I'm going to move Oops, my big old hand out the way. Um, this one right here. Kimberly is having our fourth grandson. But I got this one right here because I, I thought we could still use like adorable and some of the other little uh, images on there. Lots of phrases. Hip hip hooray. That is so cute. And then this one is another one with a lot of phrases on it as well. And this one, I love this one right here. This one was like $1.99 as opposed to $1.49. And it has the humongous flower. Um, I don't even think I have a block big enough for that one. I'll have to use that. Um, they have, um, I don't know what that is. It's just a huge block with the sponges underneath it and you can just press it down. So I might have to use something like that on that puppy right there. But, um, let's see. I don't think I showed you that one. And I actually have been doing this. I'm going to do these for the women's Bible study. And I found these cute bags. Let me show you these right quick, right here sweet treat bags so that's going to look really cute for the woman's bible study i got that one right there and all the punches were 3.99 so i got three punches they also have the oh i just absolutely love these metallic glass micro beads look at those colors that's going to look good on cards or scrapbooking just everything they had these paper packs this is the pastel Ross $2.99 and then they had the bright paper pack $2.99 and these are the 8 by 8s I think I already have those in my paper stash so you know where they're going to Kimberly um this one was actually from Hobby Lobby and I do have this one already and it was $3.99, no, $5.99, excuse me. And they're 66% off of their Christmas stuff right now. Well, at least it was last week. Now it's probably up to 90%, so I'll have to go check that out tomorrow. And then they had these bottle caps, and they were $3.99 normally, 66% off. And then these ones right here. 
I got the stippling brush and they're retractable. I like that. I'm going to actually use these for glitter. I'll probably go back and get like four or five more packs to use it for um, the micro beads. And then I will have one for each of the colors. So there's actually 12 micro beads in here. So I'll have to get six more packs or so to have enough. They had the um, glitter markers, $2.99. And then the fine writing pens. And I don't have one of these little Martha Stewart glitter cloths um, to wipe away your glitter. So I had to get that guy. And I think, yeah, he was $1.99 at TJ Maxx. So I think that is all I have for my haul today. And I hope you guys have a very blessed New Year's. Please stay safe. Bye-bye.